Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a couple of my designs for SSB 6.1 transceiver. This is my version of uh, this transceiver. It's uh, packed on the old box from TY recorder. So the one of my designs is an SWR meter, which is placed right here. And I made a um, transformer loop from T56 uh, ring, uh, carbon iron ring, and it has SWR connector and plus 5 volts to switch um, outputs and inputs for reception and transmission mode, which commentates this by, by this relay. So this is for transmission and this is for reception mode. And basically this it, it is using classic SWR schema from Nix manual. So basically that's it. Let's have a closer look at the board, which is right here. And as you might see, it has a relay, it has a SMA connectors, it has a place for for the ring, so you might see right here. Here you have um, a trimmer and uh, resistors to dissipate load. And this is back side of the board. So interesting thing about this design. If you look, if you look closer at this one. Okay. Let me see. Let me show you. This is the back side. And you can see um, I saw 239 connector right here and there is some um, one-sided PCB board so if I will place it like this you might see this is installed like a sandwich right here so it looks like a sandwich so one-sided PCB less roll of insulator right here so it's kind of insulates and the other side is a screen and the connector is going right through this stuff and it's getting connected inside. So this is how it looks like. And I can show you this angle. angle. So it's getting connected right here. And I think I can show you like this. Let me use some torch so you might see inside. It's connected inside this coil. I will place a design and let's look at design. And you will see a design that is being installed in the middle. Okay. And so it's going right through. All right. Uh, let's have a look at the second thing, which is this one board. This is band commutator board or band switch board. And if you will look closer on this, I don't know, maybe I'll show you like this. So it has relays right here and, and you might see there's two ribbon cables going through. So one of the ribbon cables, if I will place my camera on a different angle, like this. So, one of those ribbon cables is going to the synthesizer and second one is going from it to a main board right here and those two ribbon cables in, is going right through this board and this board is very simple and it has two connectors for ribbon cables right here So it has SMA connectors. I think I have to switch angle a little bit. And okay, now you should be able to see this board. Color. Okay, let's focus. Let's get some focus right here. So this board has two connectors for ribbon cables and one long connector for pins and plus five volt connector. If you look at the back side, so you will see there's a, um, 
a connection between all relays and this is this is marked as plus 12 volts on schematics but actually you can use any different volt any any different voltage because this this one and all bands they kind of isolated from the everything else so they're not connected to anything else the only one thing you may notice it it, it has place right here for this c1 capacitor right here okay i think i have to turn it over like this so right here is a place for capacitor if you don't install this capacitor you can just basically solder capacitor over like this if you don't have it someday capacitor or you can use them in high voltage for example it, like it, it was designed for 12 volts but uh, you might notice it has a higher distance around all, all this board and I think it should be able to hold a higher voltage than 12 volts it's, I think it, it will be fine up to 100 volts totally fine I think it, even more but I have concerns about distance and clearance between those holes on this connector uh, I I wasn't smart enough I have to place um, this connector for for screws you know like this screws terminal large one and in this case it could hold even higher voltage the other stuff those relays these relays installed right here they are quite heavy and and they are able to withstand like really high voltage and if I will move closer uh, this board you should be able to to read the parameters of those relays and those relays are um, ranked as let me see they are ranked as 240 volts 7 amperes and which is quite a lot of power to be honest so they can accommodate anything <laughs> for our ham radio purposes and I think they can easily accommodate uh, PIA or anything else or if you will have some sort of external connection for this transmitter for example you have um, band filters or uh, LPF filters for high power amplifier for example you will have like 200 watts amplifier which is um, is good for uh, if I'm not mistaken it does require extra license in the United States in the United States and uh, uh, for this case yes you can you can power up like really high power um, um, release and speech bands for even this kind of load the other thing those boards because they have connection which is going through them so you could have multiple those boards for example if you need to accommodate 12 volts and let's say 5 volts you could have two boards like this and you can install them and connect um, ribbon cable through them so you will have to add some extra ribbon cables and of course extra parts but the overall you could have like several of them and the only only downside is possible it's like little loss of of voltage on this ribbon cable and those connectors and the the rest of it is commutation it's made by transistors they also i noticed that transmission signal and is coming into into inverse form so normally you will have like for example plus 12 volts or plus plus some voltage to turn on transmission but here for this board you have to actually inverse it and because of this uh, you have to install Q1 okay so Q1 right here Q1 right here so this one is supposed to be NPM transistor no not sorry not NPN PNP transistor I made updates and schematics I will post this updates 
and you will be totally fine it's it will be updated on my website so all right mm, what else uh, those boards those designs and this design it's all on my website so you can download keycard projects and order your boards I made my boards at GLC PCB I'll post link to this website in description you can order boards they by default if you order first time they will give you discount for DHL shipping so both boards this one and this one they I ordered five five boards of this one and five boards of this one uh, of SW meter and five boards of um, band commentator or band switch whatever right, you call it um, and they should come in total cost at 10 bucks if you order first time if you order second time you will probably not have a discount for digital shipping so it will be a different deal and um, you can order those boards from the different servers called pcbway.com so they also provide the good boards and this relatively affordable price thank you for your attention um, if you like my video subscribe my name is Phil if you have questions you can ask down below in comments or you can ask questions in SSB 6.1 transceiver groups on Facebook thank you